If the last 18 months have shown us anything, it's that being a kid is hard. Even harder without all the right tools, resources, and support systems. And in this city, black girls are disproportionately disadvantaged when it comes to having this sort of access. But that is where Ladies of Virtue comes in. Recently named a top 100 finalist for the Chicago Innovation Awards, this nonprofit is celebrating 10 years of serving the city's black girls and young women. I got to sit down with founder Jamila Trammell to learn more about what the organization has done to become one of the leading youth mentorship and leadership programs in the city. I started mentoring as a sophomore in college, and I have not stopped mentoring since. It's been 20 years now, um, really because I see myself in the girls that I serve. But that's what made me start Ladies of Virtue, really to be a support, to stand in the gap for those um, girls who may not have those positive role models in their life. What started as a passion for mentoring has since grown into an entire organization. Ladies of Virtue provides transformative mentoring and leadership experiences for black girls aged 9 to 18 who live in traditionally underrepresented areas. I was shy, I was quiet, but once I joined the program, I got out of my shell. I was in a space where I was around girls who looked like me with a similar background. It made me feel a part of something. Ladies of Virtue currently hosts over 200 girls in their program. And for most, it's the first time they've ever been invited into a space built specifically for them. Their Saturday Leadership Institute and Love Club chapters available through the schools are nine-month programs meant to prepare girls for leadership through character development, career readiness, and civic engagement. Our girls are identifying topics that they're passionate about, and then they work together to learn about a specific topic, such as human trafficking or bullying or mental health, and then they're spreading their awareness out into their schools or in the community. All of our programming, like career readiness, um, our civic engagement component, we infuse mental health um, lessons into all of what we do. During the pandemic, Ladies of Virtue surveyed their members and found that over 40% of their girls' parents or guardians had either lost their jobs or had their hours significantly reduced. And within that, over 70% requested mental health support to help improve communication with their daughters. And so as a result of that, uh, we, have, we are a top 100 finalist for the Chicago Innovation Award. I've only been in the program for one full program year. And I've already gotten help, um, like mental help, from a licensed clinical therapist. And they provided that for us and a couple girls. In addition to therapy, Ladies of Virtue provide scholarships for school books and supplies, rent assistance, furniture stipends, and financial support for any members when and if they should need it. For older girls, Ladies of Virtue provides training on hard life skills, from financial literacy to civic engagement. Every uh, two months, we have a program called the Billionaire Mindset Meetups, and that's where they're learning about core skills like taxes and stocks, uh, real estate, things of that, that sort. A lot of this information we probably didn't learn in high school. Our parents probably don't understand it enough to explain it themselves. So to be able to have access to that kind of information, to learn about stocks and how to file your taxes is so important. I actually have a college coach with Ladies of Virtue and she has been helping me through this whole entire process ever since my junior year of getting ready for college, what to expect, what, I, what type of scholarships I need to apply for. And it's just been really helpful. Like, I feel like my grades have even improved. By definition, virtue means moral excellence. And so really what we're teaching them is to, you know, yes, it's great if you're on paper and you have straight A's and all of that, that is great. Your accomplishments are great. But what's better is the fact that you're a kind person, that you respect other people, that um, you're a good person. I really truly felt like it was time to make a bigger impact in the lives of girls. If you're interested in learning more, making a donation, volunteering, or buying a ticket to their 10-year anniversary virtual fundraiser, you can do so at their website at lovchicago.org. I'm Jamaica Ponder for CBSN Chicago.